for Miss Gutierrez. And what, what does that mean in the scope of things and what, what has come before this court? And I'm asking the court to consider that. And also what probation might do for her in terms of rehabilitation, which is another goal of our system. Anything else, no, you're not. All right, so I've made some notes along the way. So if I refer to the notes and I'm not looking at tables, it's because I'm reading. Um, first of all, thank you for your presentations. Thank um, the friends and family of Helena uh, for presenting uh, their memories and their losses of Helena. There are really three choices for sentencing before me. Um, what the defense wants is a conditional discharge. This means straight probation, unless Ms. Reed, Ms. Gutierrez comes back on a probation violation. She won't have a felony conviction on her record, so she can continue to possess firearms. Again, unless she comes back on a probation violation and receives the imposition of the probated sentence. The second one has not been offered by counsel, but uh, I've certainly thought of it, and it's uh, to continue her in the Santa Fe County Detention Center. That would be for 12 months. That's all she's allowed to stay at the detention center. And then put her on probation for the rest of the time. She's facing 18 months. She's got pre-sentence confinement for about a month or so. Um, in, in this scenario, she won't experience prison. She will be a convicted felon. She cannot carry a firearm under federal law and for a specific time under New Mexico law. And then there's prison, and uh, the state has proposed at 85% of the time uh, sentence to incarceration based on the uh, serious violent offense statute. For all the fanfare and pundits and finger pointing that has been going on for over two years, we were able to seat a jury of her peers who confirmed they could listen to the evidence received in court and determine the facts and apply the law. They found Ms. Gutierrez guilty of involuntary manslaughter. What were some of the poignant facts that came out during the trial? In her police interview, she proudly owned her position as armorer. On October 21, 2021, chaos ended after the film crew walked off. Ms. Hutchins and others were trying to rig, if you will, how they were going to keep filming. And what was the defendant doing while waiting? She was loading Alec Baldwin's gun. Did she have enough time to load the weapon safely? Plenty. Did she load the weapon? Yes. With dummies in a live round. Did she check what she was loading? No. Why? Well, in her own words, most recently, in her jail calls, she didn't need to be shaking the dummies all the time. Did she check after that? No. And while you've heard her concerns about how she'll never work again as an armorer leading up to the trial, have her concerns changed? No. Here's what she says. This whole thing has been a character attack on her. Just recently in her allocution, I'm not a monster. And what does, oh, where is it? Uh, they talk about how much of Han on the phone, they're talk she and another, are talking about how much of Hannah's life that, uh, they could take up and that this is messing up her modeling career. This is while she's incarcerated, waiting for a sentence. And what does she say about the death of Helena? Hannah is dismissive of the judge talking about someone dying as a result of her actions. Hannah says she's looking at 13 months, which is ridiculous over what happened. Hannah says that people have accidents and people die. It's an unfortunate part of life, but it doesn't mean she should be in jail. A conditional discharge is not appropriate. And the second option of leaving you in the detention center would be giving you a pass you do not deserve. I did not hear you take accountability in your allocution. You said you were sorry. You were sorry, but not you were sorry for what you did. You were sorry for it and hope they can find peace. It was your attorney that had to tell the court that you were remorseful. 
the word remorse, a deep regret coming from a sense of guilt for past wrongs. That's not you. You're here by sentences follow, stand. I am sentencing you to 18 months of incarceration at a New Mexico women's correctional facility. I find that what you did constitutes a zero, serious violent offense. It was committed in a physically violent manner, a fatal gunshot done with your recklessness in the face of knowledge that your acts were reasonably likely to result in serious harm. You were the armorer, the one that stood between a safe weapon and a weapon that could kill someone. You alone turned a safe weapon into a lethal weapon. But for you, Miss Hutchins would be alive, a husband would have his partner, and a little boy would have his mother. Please take her. I'm going to ask the deputies to watch how the courtroom gets cleared. Please do an order of remand to the transport order to the Department of Corrections and the judgment. Yes, Your Honor. All right. We are in recess. All rise.